Hi guys, so when you work with animals, it's kind of one of those things that people always bring you other animals. And so I have just had a shout from one of the other staff members of the garden centre to ask if we can go and help them. And look what they have found us. So this is a long-eared bat, I think. I've done some research, I think he is. So we've put him on some paper, put him in a cardboard box, and we've put him, there's a little hot water bottle underneath him to keep him nice and warm. I have phoned the Bat Conservation Trust and they put me in touch with a carer locally and she's just about to come down and collect him. She says it's a bad time of year for bats because they're just coming out of hibernation and especially this week. Especially this week, it's been awful. We've had such awful, awful weather. And so poor thing, if he came out of hibernation into the horrendous wind that we've just had, he probably hasn't had a chance to catch any food. So the lady from the, well, the bat carer should be here any minute now. She's not coming from very far away. She's coming from Woodley. And she's going to weigh him and see whether he is a good healthy weight or underweight. She'll just double check, make sure he's healthy. And uh, if he is just a little bit underweight, she'll take him home and bring him back up to the normal weight. And then hopefully he can come back and get released at the centre. I'll try, I'll try and see if we can get a video for that. That would be pretty awesome if we could. Um, I have to say a little apology to Olivia. It's Olivia's first day of her holiday today, so she hasn't had a holiday for a very long time. And um, she loves bats, like loves bats. And she's not here. She's missed it. Sorry, Olivia. Sorry. <laughs> All right, then. So I'm going to wait for the lady and hopefully Hi we'll guys talk again. To... So just a quick update after the bat lady has left. I said, hello, bat lady. She said, hello, owl lady. It was a very funny introduction. Um, <laughs> the It was a little grey long-eared bat. That's what she called it. I've never heard of that before. I'd heard of the long-eared bat, but I didn't realise they came in different colours. And uh, he was very, very underweight. She definitely when it was a little male. She pulled out all his wings and checked them all. And uh, But he was five grams. Is that right? She said she doesn't really release them until they're seven grams, which is tiny, 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 tiny. And, uh, and so I took a picture, let me post it now, of the scales that she used. And she put him in a little tube and put him on the scales, bless him. And then she gave him a little bit of water. And she said she thinks he's just very, very underweight. Well, at five grams, he was very, very underweight. So she's going to take him home and feed him up. We gave her some mealworms that we bought for Reading Reptiles. And uh, then she's going to bring her, hopefully she'll drop me a text, and she's going to bring him back and release him back at the, the house where we found him. So hopefully within a couple of days' time. So that's our little bat. I took a lovely picture for you. Let me put her in here. And uh, we hopefully we'll see you again soon, maybe with something owly instead. Take care. Bye.